Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on... What was... Oh, yeah, that's that hole that BTC left. Another episode on Mindcrack. How is everybody doing today? Why do I always want to sing in the intros? All the time. It never ends. I don't even know myself. It's crazy. I love this bridge. Just wanted you to know. I just got back. Check out this pick. It is fully repaired. I went to the end and enchanted up to 33 levels. That's the last time we are probably going to be able to repair this pick. There's a comment down below. Down below. Um, on the last episode that said, Why are you always trying to... 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 to, to Repair, I can't even talk. I'm sure he was stuttering to repair your pick the, the wrong way. Anyway, I repaired it with another pick. I will have you know. Um, I also picked up some more ender pearls, so right now I am carrying uh, my comfortable amount of ender pearls, the amount of ender pearls that I like to carry um, all the time with me that makes me feel like I'm never gonna like I, I'm safe. I use a lot of ender pearls, so anyway. I'm now, I'm currently carrying the, the amount that I like to carry uh, whenever I'm out and about, just just on the server, just so I don't run out. <sighs> it's very satisfying. Um, and, oh my gosh, today is episode 99 on Mindcrack. I am so crazy excited that today is the 99th episode and tomorrow will be the 100th episode on Minecraft. Uh, it's funny, we are actually technically, technically, on episode 101 in my Minecraft series and episode 100 in, um, in actual videos on Minecraft. Put my cocoa beans somewhere else. Where did I put my cocoa beans? What? Oh, I have clicky. Here's my clicky. Why do I have these up there? I guess those are something that I wanted to enchant. Where did I put my cocoa beans? Oh, yes. I remember. I remember where I put my cocoa beans. That, oh, we need to name this guy. He's a police officer. <laughs> Well, part of, I don't know why, I want to call him Jenkins. Police Officer Jenkins, here, sitting in the car. He's just, he's still, he's still on patrol duty. He's still, he's, um, surveilling the suspect. Doing a good job. He, he's never once been late for his job. Okay, let me get rid of some of these ender pearls. I have a lot of ender pearls. I, uh, I filled up this chest of ender pearls, and here's my backup ender pearl chest. <laughs> I seriously have an enderpearl problem. Um, there we go. Oops. You can't ever not have enough enderpearls. I don't know why there was quartz there. Take this quartz, put it in my quartz chest. Um, so anyway, I... Actually, I'm gonna use quartz today. I wanted to grab some of them quartz. There we go. I hope I have enough. Um... Episode 100, so, why why the difference in all those numbers? Well, I started off with episode 0 uh, with Spooky Ghost. So, you have to add one episode onto the back, uh, onto that. And then, um, you know, I said uh, technically episode... Um, what episode did I say? Technically, uh, this is 101 in the series. There was one day, I guess technically you would say this is, yes, this is episode 100. Uh, or, or, yeah, yeah, no, I said everything correctly. Um, is, the reason I said that is because there was one day that I did five and a half, I did, or I did something and a half. I forget exactly which episode it was. It was like 56 and a half. Um... And that was because there's a day that, that the server was not available and um, it and no one was available to reset it. I, I forget. I think Good was out somewhere else. Um, 
I need a way to get on the roof. I guess I still have a way to get on the roof. It's just way over here. I don't know. I need a way to get on the roof. <laughs> somewhere else on in, in my house. Um, so that day, uh, we, I named, I numbered it like 0.5 or something like that. And, uh, then the next one was a full number. So, so technically, uh, it actually never really caused any numbers to be off. Uh, it, there, uh, because it was just 0.5. Don't worry. Everything is just fine. And then the episode zero. So anyway, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Mind Crack and how it has really changed my life. And uh, and the reason I want to talk about it today instead of in episode 100 is because, oh man, I thought I was going to fall, is because in episode 100, I, I already have a plan. I already know that I want to talk about something in particular. And... Oh, shoot, I just did that wrong. Crap. I have to undo what I just did. I, I Like, exactly undo it. Because I realize now that what I meant to do... Boop, boop, boop. Was start a layer of cyan on top. Because this is all going to be one raised from that hallway. Anyway, sorry about that. Um... Uh, because I already have something planned for episode 100, and I'm most likely not going to be able to actually chat and talk during that. So, hey, here we are talking about Minecraft. Minecraft, I'm still so surprised. It, it, I joined the Minecraft server at a very interesting time in my life. It's only was, it was only 100 days ago. I'm not, it sounds like a memoir here, um, but it was only 100 days ago. Um, but in those hundred days, a lot, a lot has changed. Um, and there's still a lot to change in the future. Let's go ahead and sleep real fast. So, um, anyway, I want to talk about that. I knew, you know, a month before I actually joined, or the OMG chat account joined, that I would be joining the server and you know I did the whole spooky ghost thing and I had no idea that I would be losing my job the week before um, I joined luckily I've had uh, I had some money saved up and and uh, you guys through your amazing support of the patreon uh, has has really helped me out a lot unfortunately you would think i don't know no you wouldn't think but um it looks like uh there's there's definitely a lot of change coming up here in the future for me um my lease is up uh my my apartment lease is up here at the end of april and i've talked to a lot of uh, close friends about this and now I'm letting you guys know. I think this is the first time I've ever mentioned this on, on air or on camera. So I accidentally hit a setting, I and I don't I don't know where the recording stopped, or what I was saying. I don't know what was. I I have no idea where I am in my story. So I'm just gonna kind of start over and then uh, edit out any repeat. I'm not sure. Anyway, um. <laughs> Oh man, this is this is hard to go back. Where did I even start, or where did I go? Basically, my life is um, changed a lot uh, because of Minecraft, and it happened at at a time when uh, it happened at this crazy just point where I was able to gather this audience that. Um, I had never, I had never had before. It was, it's just insane. So that brings me kind of to the future and where I am now and what is about ready to happen with my life because things are ever changing. And I have got a, uh, like, I've been a tiny bit frustrated 
with how things have been going... Well, okay, no, no, no. I haven't been frustrated with how things have been going at all. I've been frustrated with... I guess what I imagine the future is currently. Because I'm doing... All of, all of, you know, all of the things I do now, I'm doing Minecraft, I'm doing Gizwiz, I'm doing BYB, I'm doing uh, the recap. All of these things have, have really taken up all my time. In fact, every single week it feels like a, a marathon. Minecraft every day, you know, uh, uh, Gmod on Mondays, um, that's the recording, and then, and then finding time to edit and, and all those things. It really has felt like a marathon, and it hasn't left me a lot of room. One, boop, boop. Um, it hasn't left me a lot of room to start new things. Um, really branch out and test or try to see what I could do elsewhere. And that is a little scary, also because I hate, I hate that feeling. <laughs> Basically, any time at any job, when I felt that I had reached the ceiling of what I could do at that company, I had to leave. If I get the feeling that I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of my life, or, or, or for a long extended period of time, I have to leave. I have to go. Um, once I hit too much of a routine, it scares me. Whoops. Um, to continue that routine, it, if if I can if I can feel like I can see the future and I can see myself doing what I'm doing, growing old, I'm like, no, uh, uh, I'm out. Peace out. Sorry, guys. So. Uh, and this this actually isn't all that new. I I know that right now this point in my life is going to be a transition in the next two months. Either there's going to be a transition, and I still haven't made the decision, and that's been weighing heavily on me. Is I need to make a decision between oh gosh, um, between trying something completely new. I wonder if I can get up there. No, can't. I, I do want that little half slab because I think I, I'm going to be half slab dependent here. No. Um, so anyway, I, I know that, that right about now, there is going to be a whole bunch. Oh, man, that went too far. Oh, we're nice. Um, I have to decide, am I going to stay where I'm at now? and continue at this for a long time, exactly the course that I'm going now, or am I going to pick up and drop some things, which I really love, for the chance of something bigger? And you might be thinking, what is that chance? What are you talking about, Chad? Well, basically, I have... Lots of, I have made many industry friends, and I could go to a city that is different than the city I'm in now. And by the way, all of the, all of what I'm saying here, I will be a little bit more specific. All of what I'm saying, I am still wrestling with. I could do this, or I could stay in Petaluma and continue what I enjoy doing right now, although... Um, although I feel that I would have a, a little bit of that trapped feeling I was feeling before, or that I was talking about before. I don't know if I would or not, because day to day, the, you know, in the last weeks and months or whatever of me doing what I'm doing now has felt pretty productive. Oh man, I am out of courts. Um, that is a bummer. It has felt very protect productive. But, I worry, I guess. Am I gonna go over the house? Oh, this, nice. Look at that, a few blocks away. That was, that was pretty close. 
it's a hard decision. I'm at a decision point in my life and I need to make a decision in the next few months. Um, my lease is up in April. At the end of April. And basically, I need to decide, am I going to stay in Petaluma doing exactly what I'm doing now with the Gizwiz, with, uh, which is a show that I adore. I love it. We're going to go to the nether right now um, while I continue talking to you guys. Or am I going to go to a place like L.A. where I have, I have friends, I have industry contacts, I see stuff on Twitter all the time that if I was just in that city... I could participate in um, it, it, it would be much more of a YouTube focus for me um, away from the podcast focus that my career has been there could be chances to work with other youtubers there's just a lot of opportunity um, not every day I mean I, I'm, I'm not I don't want to give you the sense that I'm deluding myself I realize that a lot of days will probably be me sitting in my apartment or wherever I, I decide to live, twiddling my thumbs, going, hmm, yeah, I wish that I was doing something right now. Um, I completely understand that that will most likely happen. and um, But there is a chance that I could, say, get a part-time job working a few different places. Uh, um, I have a friend who. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to drop names or anything like that. Anyway, I have. I have. I definitely have. You know, friends in LA. Um, it's a hard decision, and that's what I'm dealing with right now because I don't want to let anyone down. I want to do the best thing for me, and I. And I feel like no matter what I decide, I would be happy. And I would be scared that I would regret the other, you know, whatever I, whatever I decide, I'll, I'm super scared that I'm going to regret the thing I didn't decide. Um, who knows? I don't, I don't even have an answer. <laughs> so, on this, the 100th-ish episode of uh, my Minecraft series, um, it, I th think that I felt that I would have a much better grasp on the situation, on my situation, on my own situation. <laughs> on my life, it's my, I should know all the things, I don't. Um... It, we're coming for a long time. I have I have told good. I've told a lot of my, my friends March till March And March is staring me in the face March is the month where I have to make all the hard decisions. I have to decide Where what the next step for my life is going to be <sighs> Nothing will most most almost nothing will change for you guys for you guys enjoying Minecraft, not a lot is going to change. But for me, quite a lot could change. Uh, it's funny how just deciding a town to live in would change so much. Um, anyway, <laughs> I think I think that is about all. I have the brain capacity for I'm gonna continue gathering nether quartz probably because it's a good resource to have and I didn't realize that my roof was gonna take up so much nether quartz oh and I am going to let you guys <laughs> stop watching me I don't know what well, it's so funny because part of what I want is the answer but it is such a complicated question that no one, even if someone absolutely, I get a call from someone who I really look up to and they say, you're an idiot. This is what you have to do. The most trusted person in my life, I don't know if I would take their advice. 
because saying goodbye is hard. I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this episode of Minecraft. It's a little bit of a real one. A little bit of like a totes thoughts about the future. And I will see you tomorrow on another episode on Minecraft.